Our first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated comedian you know from her work on Saturday Night Live and in movies such as Ghostbusters and Coming to America. You can see her in the new comedy series, Our Flag Means Death, which is streaming on HBO Max with new episodes every Thursday. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend, Leslie Jones, everybody. There nice. she is. <laughs> What's up, Leslie? Baby? I have thought about you so often this year. Uh, you are one of the people that I most associate with the uh, Los Angeles Rams. You're such a giant fan of the team. And I was so happy for you uh, when they won the Super Bowl. Are you still on cloud nine? Now, I'm a new fan. Like, it's easy to become a fan when they win it. You know what I'm saying? So when I got to LA, I was like, oh, uh, Odell Beckham's on that? Oh, Von Miller? OK, I'm going to start cheering for them. And as soon as I started cheering for them, that's when they started winning. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. I, you know what? This is very noble because a lot of new fans won't admit to everybody that they came to it late in the game. But I think that's very, uh, very strong of you. Very strong character well, you know, to I'm admit. Strong. I'm strong, though. I'm strong and a strong character. So yeah. But I don't. I, I hope people will forgive me for thinking you've been a lifelong Rams fan. I just want to show one of your many uh, Instagram videos. This is when the Rams are going to the Super Bowl. This does not strike me as someone who's a new fan. Let's take a look. <laughs> fans who's like, man, I don't care about him as much as her. <laughs> because, see, I knew the Rams when Eric Dickinson was playing with him, so. Sure. That's you know, a real deal. I mean, You're, I, mean I, I look at all counts. So listen, you had a cool thing happen, which is not only was your team in the Super Bowl, not only did they win, you also had a Super Bowl ad uh, with some other famous yeah. uh, Joneses, Rashida Jones, Tommy Lee Jones. Was it a lifelong goal to do a Super Bowl ad? Y'all, y'all love to put lifelong things on stuff. Were you on Cloud it's, Nine, Leslie? It's, it's, it's a Super Bowl commercial, man. It's, I mean, yeah, it was fun. It was very fun to do because you know I love Tommy Lee. Even though we wasn't on set at the same time, people think we was like really driving the trucks and everything. No, we was on a set on top of these roller things inside of the truck, acting like we was driving the trucks. I, was I supposed to tell that set? I don't know. I just like that. I'm like, was it a dream come true? And you're like, no. And also, we didn't even meet each other. <laughs> <laughs> Again, but this is the I set. love the honesty as always. Uh, is no, just your main export. Set. They said that when he got on set, he was like, I want to know two things. What am I driving and where's Leslie Jones? So that happened. That's pretty good. That, I mean, that, I think it, right there we can step back and say it was, uh, it was uh, uh, an accomplishment. Hey, you also talk a lot, and I think all of us enjoy, every time there's an Olympics, uh, you uh, sort of regale us with your videos. Winter Olympics, are you a fan of the Winter Olympic sports? Is there any part of you that wishes you had taken them up as a young person? No. Okay. No, to not, I mean, I love the Winter Olympics because I love the Olympics, but none of that. None of that. Like, I don't wish to jump off a mountain of snow. <laughs> I don't wish to go down a hill, especially with that tree out there murdering everybody. <laughs> I don't wish to get into a go-kart on sled, like a sled cart. I don't, no, I don't wish to do none of that. But I do wish to watch them. Yeah. What about so the, the luge? Is the luge what you mean? Or is that, what about the luge? Luge, do... bouge, couge, all that. I'm not doing none of it. <laughs> it involves blades and a tunnel. No, thank you. So that means hockey's out. Yes, especially because you get your fingers cut off. And then the, the puck just flying everywhere. Do you see hockey players never had no teeth? No. <laughs> you no. have beautiful teeth. No, you sir. wouldn't want to lose your teeth. You, no, um, I, uh, I'm taking team. my kids skiing right now. I'm, I'm teaching them how to ski. Would you ever want to come out? Of course out you are. Of course you are, white yeah. person. <laughs> yeah, it's it's their birthright. It's their birthright. Yeah. Do you? I mean, like, I wouldn't even understand a white person that has never been skiing. I wouldn't even <laughs> understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Only time I've been on ski trips is to do comedy, and I sit by the fire in the ski boots. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Did you? But you were uh, you were an athlete uh, growing up, right? You were a very talented yeah. basketball player. Uh, uh, I mean, I was okay. I was good when I wanted to be. I was very inconsistent. Okay. What was what would you uh, what would you attribute your incons inconsistency to? Yeah, um, uh, just 
you know, not really loving basketball as much as everybody thought I could. I, I was tall and I could make a layup and, you know. Yeah. That's just And so was there a moment when you first did comedy? Did the light go on and you realized, oh, this is it? Dude, as soon as I touched the mic, as soon as I touched the mic, it felt like home. I felt like I had been doing it for years. So I was like, oh, <laughs> this is, I'm doing this for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, this is so easy. Like, yeah. Uh, well, it, you certainly make it look easy as well. We're going to come back and I have a bunch of questions about your new show. We'll be right back with more from Leslie Jones. <laughs> 